Hello then, business tonight. Singapore is taking part in research about pregnancies in space. It's a study that looks at the effects of microgravity and radiation on the human reproductive system. Now, the research is among several new collaborations unveiled at this week's Global Space and Technology Convention. Well, these uh, microgravity chambers are helping researchers mimic space environments to test for cell growth. It is a collaboration between Singapore Space and Technology Limited and the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at the Yong Lu Lin School of Medicine. Now, they, hope, they hope the project can support longer space missions in the future. We've got quite a bit of work done on, on men and short trips, uh, but we have very, very little work and practically no work done in, on the female side or the placental side, which we have to make inroads on. And, uh, and that's the area that uh, if we don't study it, then we really cannot make those long journeys and be up there for such a long time. The convention also saw agreements inked with several countries to collaborate on space projects that drive economic expansion, innovation and entrepreneurship. The global space sector grew by 8% last year based on industry estimates. Transport Minister S. Isoran says the industry has created jobs and high-value opportunities for local companies and can also benefit the country's aviation and maritime sectors. Our aviation hub will benefit from the pioneering use of space-based capabilities to enhance situational awareness. Space technology can help with Singapore's maritime daily operations. Space-based solutions will herald the future of connectivity from ship to shore.